a pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV, and we are located in Frederick, Colorado. It's yours truly, Marlon Bledman. And as you guys know, we do sell truck trailers and RVs. And because I said that, on the RV side, we find a lot of customers come in, buy those buses, buy those great, awesome RVs, and always decide they need a vehicle to pull behind that RV. So we have a unique vehicle behind us, already set up for towing behind an RV, flat towing. So if you guys are interested with any questions, feel free to uh, put all those comments on the comment slot below. Uh, we do have a link on there that will show you any other information. And of course, there's no pictures online yet. So once that goes online, uh, you guys will see all those pictures. But we're gonna go over this vehicle right now. It's a super unique vehicle. It's a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, this one only has about 12,000 miles. We're going to go over some of the features, show you the whole setup when it comes to the flat towing behind your RV and of course uh, some of the interior features and of course what's, what's underneath that hood. So let's take a quick look at this beautiful, beautiful SUV. This one came in last week and of course we just wanted to present that to all our RV people out there who love a vehicle that already set up to pull behind their their coach so up front here as you guys could see uh, Jeep does an amazing job when it comes to the front end and of course they've done a little upgrade when it comes to the front end look um, it does come with LED headlamps and of course uh, LED fog lamps this one does have HID uh, H HID headlights um, and of course down here is all the full setup here for your flat toe um, features. So this this is what will connect to the RV with the hitch. You do have an air supply here for your break-in and of course um, for your lights you have your connectors down here. This one is an emergency uh, clip so if in case for some reason this vehicle uh, uh, attack uh, this this uh, disconnect from the RV uh, this will actually pull and actually will cause the vehicle to automatically stop so this is the nice little safety feature so this is fully equipped with that towing uh, feature so anybody looking to add that to the vehicle know it costs thousands of dollars just to have that install and having a vehicle in this day and age already set up makes life very easy if you're looking to purchase an RV you know at this point in time. So let's take a look underneath the hood. What you guys are looking at right now is a 6.3 liter V6 engine. It's also partnered with an eight speed automatic transmission. This one is a V6 engine. Again, with all the towing stuff all, uh, put up here, we do have all the necessary hookups for your air supply and for your trailer brakes in here already set up and whoever did that job did a fantastic job installing this on this vehicle you're looking at a, a unit that produces about 290 horsepower of course there's certain things here you guys could check yourself without bringing it to your mechanic so you could check your coolant levels uh, you could check your dipstick for your oil you could add window wiper fluid right here. And of course, it's a nice clean engine. Like I said, it's only 12,000 miles, so barely even been used. Just gonna slam this down a little bit. So there is a few safety features on here, like lane departure warning. And if you look directly dead center of the windshield, there is a little sensor up here that allows the vehicle to know when you are moving from lane to lane without indicating it will actually warn you uh, the tires on here are pretty much brand new only 12,000 miles on those those are michelin tires you're looking at 265 60 r18s this one is the limited so there is a few features on here you won't find on a regular grand cherokee like the blind spot monitor this one does come equipped with the triangle on the side mirrors again if somebody's in your blind spot on the left or right either the left mirror or the right mirror will light up orange with that triangle 
And as we enter the front seat, black interior, electric seats, and of course this one does come with memory seats as well. So you do have your memory bank right here. You have a one set and a two. This one also comes equipped with power windows, power locks, powered mirrors, and of course great entertainment in here as well. The front seats are heated and cooled. And if you check underneath here, they did it pretty right when it comes to the braking on that trailer when you're flat towing. Um, and it does have that braking system up um, connected to that brake pedal. Also, throughout the whole vehicle, you have WeatherTech mats, including the trunk. And if you check the back seat, we got tons of leg room here. Of course, you have that black leather. It does come equipped with an inverter, so you have 110 plug-in and, of course, two USB plugs on the bottom end. People always wonder what the fuel capacity on those vehicles. So it's 18 in the city and 25 on the highway. You got your gas compartment located on the driver's side. This one is a 4x4, so you do have additional uh, front and rear sensors on this unit and of course automatic, automatic tail, tail gate release or trunk release. This does come equipped with all the necessary pieces for your trailer. Everything that you will need to hook up to your RV. Everything is included with this vehicle. Like I said, you do have WeatherTech mats on the back end as well. Those back seats will fold if you need to store stuff inside here. I've seen a lot of RV customers who would use this as a, a form of storage, especially when going down in a smaller RV. So they'll put, you know, if in case they don't have a stove or they'll put a barbecue grill in here, some of the tubs and a bunch of storage in here while they tow that vehicle. So. That's a good little way to add additional storage to a smaller RV or if in case you want to bring more stuff, you could actually put it in here. Very easy to close that. There is a button right here. It will allow it to automatically shut. It also comes equipped with a rear view camera. And of course, like I said, it is a limited, so here is a limited stamp. This one does come equipped with a sunroof. And of course, you could actually add a storage rack. You just have to buy that piece that goes across. So let's jump inside, kind of show you some of the interior features of the Grand Cherokee Limited 4x4. Now that I turn on that, it is a push to start. As of today, there's 12,122 miles. So super low mileage. So when it comes to entertainment, especially driving down the road, there's a few options here. So from, if you press select your source, you could see everything that's available on this uh, stereo. So AM, FM, satellite radio. You do have Bluetooth, auxiliary cable, and of course, Two, years, two USB options here. This one is equipped with navigation, so you don't have to use your phone if you don't want to, but this one is equipped with Apple and Android capability. When it comes to the climate control, there's two ways of doing that. You could do it manually down here, or you could do it up here with all your settings. I did mention earlier it had cool seats. I made a mistake on that one. It only has heated seats and of course, heated steering wheel. When it comes to the backup camera, if I turn the vehicle on and I press this button, I could actually see the backup camera without having to put the vehicle in reverse. When it comes to the app store, there's different options here from connecting to Uconnect, which is something similar to OnStar. When it comes to the Jeep brands, Uconnect is what the safety subscription you will get for this vehicle. So you will activate Wi-Fi through that system. You could actually remote start your car through the app. 
you could check your location, you could speak to an agent, and you can know when your next oil change, if your tires are low, and all that information will show up on that app. Again, you could go through the different settings here and actually get a quicker way to go to your different apps. When it comes to your phone, you could connect via Bluetooth and it's very easy steps to follow. Do you want to pair your phone? You say yes. It will show you what to look for on your Bluetooth settings and this will be the pin you will input into your phone. Once that is set up, you could actually tell the vehicle if you want that particular phone to be your main phone or just another phone added on to the vehicle. And of course, when it comes to your settings, turn on vehicle run to access the menu. So again, that's another feature the vehicle has to be on to go through all those settings, sim similar to the backup camera. When we look down here, you have a few options here. Like I said, you could do everything manually except your heated seats manually down here when it comes to your AC controls. You do have a, to turn off your parking sensors, you could turn it off by this switch right here. There is an auto shut off, a eco mode, sports mode, and of course traction control. This is your, your vents here for your front when it's cold and your windshield is fogging up. You could turn that on and of course your windows and your back window is for the rear. You got a nice little storage in here. It does come with two USB ports and an auxiliary and also a 12 volt. So you got tons of charging in this vehicle. This one you could actually put it in all wheel drive or you could turn it to four wheel drive or um, two wheel drive. So right here it's on auto. There is a sand mode, snow, mud and rocks. So once you switch this into the different settings depending on where you are, it will actually show everything it will show you which mode you're in. There is a descent button as well. you find that in a few vehicles out there. Opening this nice little storage box, you do have a 12 volt hookup in here. And of course, another smaller storage to put smaller stuff in here. Like I said, in the back, right here, you get a 110 plug-in and two USB slots. We got a sunroof, awesome view. And of course, all your controls for that sunroof is located right here. It does come with automatic uh, universal garage controls. So very easy to set up. Everything will be in your manual. And again, uh, with your release for your trunk, you have a switch here if in case you're inside the vehicle and you go to one of those spots where groceries is delivered to your vehicle, you could actually open that and, uh, and close it when you're done. You got a nice little glass glasses holder up here. You have all your assist buttons here for your Uconnect so you could actually uh, press this assist button and you'll connect to an agent with Uconnect and of course SOS if you're in an emergency you could hold on to that button and then you will get an agent on the phone. Glove compartment has all your manuals so if in case you have any questions that we cannot answer or you want some information about a vehicle you do have those manuals available for you. Again, when it comes to the steering wheel, we got a few different options here. So you have, you have your cruise control here. And of course, over here, um, you have your hands-free calling. And those buttons right here will toggle through the different options on your dashboard. And it will actually be able to tell you when you need the next all change, what music you're listening to. Um, if there's any messages sent to you, you could actually read that and those messages are all vehicle messages so when you're all changing it when you need to get an all change or if your your tires are low and you get those messages it will be stored in messages so it's not a cell phone it's not uh, compatible with your cell phone to get cell phone messages here is more for service records and vehicle information so if anything wrong the vehicle will send you a message and that's where you look for it so like I said this vehicle is already equipped for towing, so if in case you guys have an RV or you're looking to purchase an RV and want to have a tow vehicle behind you, this is fully equipped, ready to go, ready to hook up behind whatever trailer or uh, RV you have. So if you guys have any more questions or you guys want to check this vehicle out in person, again, it's a 2021 with 12,122 miles. My number is 303. 
684-3412. Or you could text or call me on my cell at 661-755-4344. You guys could also email at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, tomorrow we'll bring to you a 2022 Freightliner M2 106. This one is hooked up with a Hensley trailer saver hitch. And this one is a pre-delivery video. It is sold, but we wanted to present to you some of the features that was added on, especially with the Hensley trailer saver hitch that a lot of people don't know about that we do here at Transwest here in Frederick. So I want to present that to you tomorrow and hopefully uh, we could have more of that going out, especially with the new technology we put with that Hensley hitch. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in today and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thank you.